Meanwhile, tonight on Baseball's Biggest Nights, North Texas fans are talking a lot about Josh Hamilton. The former Ranger star turned himself in for a felony charge today, and it happened right in front of our camera. CBS 11's Brooke Katz is with fans in Arlington tonight. Baseball fans gathered to watch the World Series were instead buzzing about former Texas Ranger Josh Hamilton. I was shocked when I heard the news. I was appalled, actually. Hamilton at the center of a family violence allegation involving his teenage daughter. I mean, I followed him throughout baseball season with the Rangers, and it's just, I don't think it's, there, there's something else to the story. Hamilton didn't have anything to say as he faced a judge, but the details are laid out in the arrest warrant. It says Hamilton threw his daughter onto her bed, put his hand on the side of her face and pushed downward, painting her head, then proceeded to hit her on the legs. She told police he used an open hand and a closed fist. She then told police he picked her up using her sweatshirt, which caused her sweatshirt to rip, then pushed her back down and started hitting her again with an open hand on her back and legs, leaving multiple scratches on her back. It's very disheartening. I know he has had his troubles in the past, um, but we hadn't heard a lot about him in a while, so you would think that um, he had kind of straightened those things out, and I hope that is the case. Hamilton was with the Rangers from 2008 to 2012 and was inducted into the team's Hall of Fame. He dealt with drug and alcohol problems throughout his career in the MLB. In a statement today, his lawyer said Hamilton voluntarily surrendered himself and is innocent of the charge against him and looks forward to clearing his name in court. Uh, one of Hamilton's bond conditions is he's not to have contact with his daughters or anyone under the age of 17. The Texas Rangers, they also released a statement today saying that they are aware of the situation and they take the issue of family violence very seriously, but they say they have no further comment since this is an ongoing legal matter. Reporting live in Arlington, Brooke Katz, CBS 11 News. Brooke, thank you so much.